Look at the front where it says Ames real big. All right, everyone, this evening I'm down here in Pittsburgh's Waterworks area in Fox Chapel, and I'm here at Familiar Settings. If you remember back to the earliest days of the channel, I did a video down here at a place called Cadoba. It was uh, a Mexican-style restaurant cuisine, but they, um, they were abandoned, and down the road I did an update, and this place ended up becoming Panda Express. Well, now here in 2023, Panda Express is abandoned. And I wanted to do another video to kind of give you guys an update. Now, it closed in 2022, and I had noticed it for some time that I thought it was abnormally dark here all the time. There weren't many lights on, etc. And so we, we kept looking, never really saw anything. I didn't pay too much attention to it. And then all of a sudden... Um, I decided one night to look it up, and yeah, sure enough, it permanently closed. Um, don't really know why. I don't know if it's because of the location. It's not in the greatest location in terms of the shopping center, because everything else is literally across the road from us. This is one of the very few places on the railroad track side. So, anyway, I thought I'd do a video here tonight to give you guys a little bit of an uh, update video uh, to see what it looked like as it was Panda Express versus Cadoba, and if you want to see that video, the link will be in the uh, description here for this video. So anyway, let's go check it out. We're running out of daylight. Uh, that's what happens when I work full-time and the weather does not cooperate at all, so let's go do it. And actually, you know, it's I strategically decided to point the car right at the building. I purposely pointed the car right at the building with the high beams on to light it up a little bit inside so we can kind of see it. But anyway, let's go up and check it out. There it is, Panda Express. B friend running good. Actually getting ready for a trip down to South Carolina here very, very shortly for Bucky's. Over here is the Connemaw line, the Norfolk Southern Connemaw line. I love that they cleared out all the trees and shrubs here can't really see it too well because it's getting dark but there's the track so you get a pretty good shot and i like it because i could chill in this parking lot if i wanted to and i could get a train coming right there at least in the winter time till all the things grow back up again but anyway panda express that's what we're here for this evening i'm sorry it's so dark though we'll take a look through this window here it's starting to snow too figures And that doesn't work. <laughs> you get an idea, though. They emptied this place completely out. It wasn't even gutted this bad when Cadoba left. But then, you know, they cleared it out for Panda Express. There's a doorway. You can't see crap there. Oh, what's... It? May 11th. Wow, it's really been that long. That's a shame. What's this? They got an electric bill. How much? It, how much is it for? Um, doesn't say. I don't know. Hold on. Five thousand. Oh, it's income. Okay, it's not it. All right. Well, I don't really know what their electric bill is, but I'm curious. They had outdoor seating here. If you remember when it was uh, Cadoba, they did as well. I don't know why anybody would want to sit literally right up against the road, though. But at least it's fenced off. It wasn't too bad. So you can't really see much through this door because of the the lighting right now. But if we look through this window, it's a little bit better. Kitchen area. I wish it was brighter, but I don't have that luxury tonight. And, you know, we have several Panda Expresses here in the Pittsburgh area. There's one on McKnight Road in Ross Township. There's another one in Cranberry Township. And I know there's a, a few more. And we've had food at the one in Ross and at the one in Cranberry. And, I mean, it is what it is, but it's not bad. I like it. 
you know, something different. It's not some place we go to all the time, but we go there from time to time. Lots of windows. Big dining room area in here, too. Can't see anything. The blind. I go to the one window where the blinds are down. <laughs> the figures. Restrooms are back there. That really doesn't do it any good. Turning that light on. Sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> I wish it was brighter, but I just haven't had the opportunity. Can't see anything through there, but let's go for a little walk, shall we? Ooh, look at this, the trees. Oh, wow, the fence is coming down. Ain't that badass. Okay, great. Oh, wow, you can get right down to the train tracks now. Wow, actually, I really like this spot. Kind of secluded from the road back here. If I really wanted to catch a train on the NS line, i get a shot right there. Right here on the Conoma, but trains come now and then. They don't come here all the time. Maybe once every few hours. And then there will be times where we get a bunch of them all at once. But anyway, on this side, there's not a whole lot to see. It is cool that I can come down here, though. Actually, I'm going to... Oof. Still in my work clothes, so what the heck. Wonder why they cleared it out, though. But nothing back here to see anyway. And unfortunately, I'll have to go back the way I came. Just so I could get back in the parking lot and get back to my car. Which is running. <laughs> not that I'm worried that anybody's going to steal it. Yeah, I'm not worried about anybody stealing that car because it's a manual. Unless there's that one car thief out there that can actually drive a stick so <laughs> I mean if you really want a Pontiac G5 <laughs> if that's what you're stealing I don't know but I mean who knows I don't know people's situations <laughs> go for like an Acura RSX or something that's what I want to get they're getting harder to find or at least a Civic Si 5 speed or 6 speed or whatever that's what I want. That's what I'm hoping to get, because who knows how much longer the bee's gonna last. It's getting up there, and people have asked about the Z24, and I hate to say it, but I had to get rid of that thing. I love that car, but it was time. I put a lot of money into that car, put a lot of miles on it too, and it's just sad, because the thing was still running great. It was running good. It had no problems. Mechanically sound. Still on the original clutch. It had just under 200,000 miles on it. Original clutch. Original motor. Everything still working great. The biggest problem with the car that sent it to the graveyard up in the sky was the, um, or the junkyard up in the sky anyway, <laughs> was the rust. Anybody that knows anything about living up here in the north especially in the Rust Belt, those Cavaliers and the Sunfires, the Pontiac equivalent, they just rusted out like crazy up here. Um, and it's incredible because when I've been in Texas and in the South in general, but especially Texas, I've seen Cavaliers, they're 20, 25, almost 30 years old, and they look like they just rolled off the showroom floor, other than some clear coat peeling. And as a Yankee, that's pretty impressive when I see a car that old, that clean. And then I go take this down there, or when I took the Z24 down there, everybody knew where that car came from. <laughs> if it wasn't just from looking at the plate, just look at the rockers or the uh, quarter panels on it, because they started to go. But yeah, it's just a shame that the rear frame on it started rotting out, and it was just too far gone to try and patch it. So, but anyway, there's your update on the Z24. And this one's starting to get up there, too. This car has 212,000 miles on it now and still running, fingers crossed. You know, I take a gamble when I take it on these long trips, but I do this for you guys. I love doing these videos for y'all, and I can't wait to do another Bucky's video from the Florence, South Carolina location. Uh, that'll be coming up very shortly. I'm meeting up with a friend of mine down there. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really good time. And hopefully we can go on a lot more adventures with this thing. It's like I said, it's getting up there. But as long as it keeps running and I do my best to take care of it, 
hopefully we can put another 100,000 miles on it before it goes and hangs out with the Z24 and the Sebring convertible, if you remember that car, and the Honda CRV. <laughs> It's a shame about that CRV. That was, you know, that was my mom's car. My grandfather bought that brand new in 2002. And we really loved that car a lot. And it's just unfortunate, you know, it got into a few accidents courtesy of my brother. And, um, you know, I fixed it at work a few times. And I had that thing looking amazing. And then, unfortunately, uh, he took it out one morning to go fishing or to go to work, I can't remember, and a buck ran out and just destroyed the front end of it, and that was, that was just it, it was too far gone after that one, so, it's a shame, that, that had a lot of life still in that thing, and it was clean too, but, if that, it wasn't for that buck, that thing would still be running, but, it hit so hard, and my, I think my brother said he was going about 45 or 50, and I mean, you can imagine the damage, a, a full-size buck, like a six-pointer, or whatever, because he, he showed me the pictures, it was like a, like a six-pointer or something, just rocked the front of it, putting the rad support and the rad and condenser and everything into the engine block, and uh, I mean, I'm sure it could have been fixed, but it would have needed extensive surgery to be able to fix that thing this time, and uh, well, there's more out there. Hopefully these used car prices start coming down so they're a little more affordable. So, but anyway, I'm rambling on. I appreciate y'all watching and listening to me just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, I don't know how anybody does it, but I appreciate it. And I apologize that it's so dark out here. I just haven't had the opportunity to film a whole lot of videos. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of train videos lately. I just been I've been loving it, and I know there are fans of the channel that love those too. And I'm trying to please everybody on here. I know there are people that don't care for the train videos, the people that do, the people that like the retail ones, the mall ones. And I have my first mall video of the year coming up very shortly as well, which you all love that. And I'm just going to spoil the surprise. It's the Chris Chan Mall, the Charlottesville Fashion Square from Charlottesville, Virginia. Wow, I can't wait to put that one together and up. <laughs> and then our next video that we're going to have, our next mall video is going to be, I think it's called Lake Forest Mall. It was in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and that one closes in March. We filmed that back in the fall as well, and I'm excited to piece that one together and um, get that up for you guys too. So, I'm working hard on doing that in daily life and work and everything else and trying to focus on my mental health and everything too and my physical health, but just trying to chug along and do the best. So my point is I really appreciate y'all being here. If you made it this far in a video, thank you. And if you did make it this far in a video, just comment, stay awesome, because positive vibes are requested, and everybody should stay awesome, no matter what you're going through in life, no matter what you, you're dealt with, just keep doing the best you can, because we care, everybody cares, so... And that's not my need to think of. Everybody cares. So, and I thank you all. So, stay tuned. We're going to have some awesome videos coming up. I got concert videos coming up too from October from KMFDM playing a couple of shows. I'm going to put that in one video. And then I got two videos coming up from seeing Catatonia with a few openers. Uh, Cellar Darling was one. And then in Texas when I saw him with Cellar Darling. Uh, so, and I forget uh, who the other bands were. There were, there were a bunch that night. <laughs> but it was a fantastic show. And uh, just stay tuned. If you like heavy metal, you'll like, you'll like that. So, anyway, enough rambling on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, stay awesome, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.